This is Wilmington's Thieves of the Week. Thieves of the Week is back with another brand new episode for you. Let's get right into it. First up, over at the First Bank on Oleana Drive, this suspect tried to pass a forged check back on April 23rd. Old school forgery, like in the movie Catch Me If You Can, over online banking. Old school is fine as long as you do it the legal way. Forging a check, of course, is a serious offense and one that'll take you to jail. Let us know if you can identify this guy. Up next, we head over to the iVape and Tobacco store on South 17th Street. The suspect pictured here stole a vape pen. Just a heads up, we don't allow vaping inside lockup. So once we pick you up, we will be returning your shiny new pen. So either kick the habit or actually buy what you want like a normal person does. Nobody likes a thief. Over on South College Road at University Tobacco and Vape, the guy pictured here assaulted the store clerk when he tried to stop him from stealing. He took a theft charge and elevated it up to assault with your stupidity. Now we have you on camera. Not only did you steal from the hardworking clerk, but you took it upon yourself to cause harm to him as well. There's a difference between keeping it real and just being dumb. Call us right away if you know who this freeloader is. And like I told you last week, we have something special for you, and it's our Thief of the Week. These two ladies decided it would be a good idea to steal credit cards, then use them at nearly a dozen different locations. They racked up bills totaling around 10 grand. Seriously, $10,000. Did you just walk in and think that no one would ever notice? Well, let me let you in on a well-known secret. Now you're being broadcast out to tens of thousands of people across the state, and anyone with internet access can see your picture. So yeah, turn yourself in now before we find you. 10 grand is a lot of money, but like with most criminal actions, the rewards are fleeting and the consequences can be uncomfortable. And an update to let you know about. Remember these two thieves? They recently stole from Home Depot. Well, the female's been identified as Mackenzie Gale Rogers. She's charged with two counts of Larceny, remove, destroy, deactivate component, two counts of felony conspiracy as well as felony larceny. The male's been charged as well and warrants are outstanding on him. And that's this week's Thieves of the Week. Remember, if you're still in our city, we'll get you on camera and we'll put you on the internet. And remember, life is 90% making decisions and 10% living with consequences of said decisions. Make that 10% good. It'll help make the world a better place. And as always, and of course, the internet is forever.